uh, Jay Austin here again. I don't know if you were here with me earlier when I pushed my crock pot off the table, but we've recovered from that. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you how to make white beans in a pot. And again, I'm just showing you my bean method. So instead of teaching you a recipe, which is specific measurements, I'm showing you in general how to make beans. And I like beans because they're cheap as shit nutritious and they last a long time. Um, I actually got these beans for free from a friend of my mom's and the onions were for free uh, and most of the other stuff is pretty inexpensive so here is Jay Austin's bean method. We're gonna start with a pot on low to medium heat. I'm gonna put a healthy glug of olive oil in there because fat is flavor, and that's gonna convey a bunch of flavor through our beans, which don't have a whole lot of flavor. Um, I smashed up some garlic cloves, which is probably what caused the, uh, <laughs> the crock pot to jump over the side of the table. I'm sure I can show that in like slow-mo or something. So I just smash my garlic cloves. I don't bother chopping them up because they just sort of give a mellow infusion type flavor that way. Um, I'm gonna throw a bay leaf in there. I love cooking with bay leaves. They just add a nice depth. It really doesn't take much. Like one good sized bay leaf like that will be enough for this recipe. And then we're gonna go in with a healthy pinch of salt and black pepper. Um, and I was saying earlier that most beans are okay to cook with salt. Um, and oh yeah, my beans I soaked overnight in a little bit of salted cold water. Excuse me, no, a lot of cold water with a little bit of salt in it. So I put salt into my beans at two stages, once in the soaking, once in the cooking. And a little goes a long way, so don't over salt it. Um, just going to rough chop these onions, carrot, rough chop, two stalks ought to do. This is how I like to chop celery. Just sort of give it a smash, that way it's flat, you can cut it into nice batons and get a better dice out of it that way. Oh yeah, I wanted to throw a hot in here. And I'm just gonna have that throw it in there because I think I'm gonna use some of this for hummus and I don't want it to be like insanely spicy. Okay, so my mirepoix has cooked down until uh, it's translucent, as you can see there. I'm just gonna chuck my two cups of soaked beans and a quart of good chicken stock. You can use veg stock if you want to keep a vegetarian. I just think that chicken stock makes it taste better. Mm, and then, judging by the amount of liquid that's in there, I'm gonna throw an additional two cups of this soaking liquid in there. One, two, just to give it an extra moisture. Extra moisture is not a bad thing. You can always pour liquid off later. And we're just gonna let that come to a simmer and simmer until they're tender. An hour, two, two hours, three hours. It really depends on how old your beef is. She is boiling. I'm gonna turn her down to a simmer and let her chill for several hours until they're soft. So my beans are finally done. They are fall apart tender. I'll show you what I mean by that. Nice and soft. Squeesh. 
I just break apart. They're super soft and delicious. And I'm gonna let those cool all the way and they're liquid. Split them up to use in white bean hummus and on their own as a side. So you saw me boil up those white beans earlier. I'm gonna use some of them to make a little bit of white bean hummus right now. Strain out like half of those beans right now. Lots of lemon juice. Oh, a head of the, a clove of garlic, not a head, just a clove. Puree the fuck out of it. You might need to add a little bit of that cooking liquid. There's already a lot of olive oil in there, so I'm not gonna add any additional fat and keep this a little bit lower calorie. So, puree the fuck. Okay. Okay. Maybe you should plug your fucking blender in first. And go like this, you know, as one does. Now, puree. <laughs> And it might seem a little loose right now, but it'll set up when it chills in the fridge. It's nice and tart. Good and savory, a little bit of heat. I think it's good to go. Mmm, that's super tasty. I'm gonna chuck that into the fridge and hold it for up to a week.